All right, guys, welcome back to Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2008. Oh, what's struggle play? Oh, against three people, of course. Oh, God. <laughs> um, let's see, we got the match play um, at the K Club versus Aphrodite Papadopoulos. We remember her from, two, what was that one, 2005 or six? It was at the Greek Isles, I know that. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And it, it saved. <laughs> I must have been doing something wrong um, so that it wasn't saving sometimes. I don't know. Because um, the last two times it did. So. This is Gary McCord for EA Sports. EA Sports. All that wind straight into our face. Oh, look at that straight with power. Oh, can't get any better. Why'd it go right? It says straight. Wind is off to the left also a little bit. I mean, it's in the face, but... Ooh, hit the tree. Man, I can't wait to get back out there. That's why I said I'm trying to get... Trying to get my... I guess you could say home renovation going for. I'm. Um, it's it's going to be a, a really big room, um, a little bit bigger than your average liver room, I would say. And it's basically. Ooh, can't move that ram so far. It's basically just going to be like I'm going to put in. I need to research like so soundproofing uh, things I which I've seen uh, like streamers and if you watch let's see so the uphill 1.1 foot uphill one this would probably be a little bit short but that's okay yeah if you watch um, Peter Finch he's on YouTube I like to watch his stuff. He's pretty informative. Um, puts a lot of humor into it, which I like. Um, he has basically... I would love to have his kind of room. And it has... You can see soundproofing pads on it. And I looked up a little bit of that and they're not too bad it's like for 50 square foot it was like I think it was 50 or 75 bucks or something um ah that wasn't I didn't get much power on that but that's okay um and then I also need to get like the it's not a green screen I guess but uh Whatever it is they used to hit into that had, it's like a, the simulation thing You know once the room is built I need to get one of those That's my that's my dream goal And we're starting to get the uh, wow I got a lot of power on that one for some reason You know we're starting to get the thing going but Trying to spring together birdies here. Uh, it's, it's downhill, yes, but if I don't get this at a hundred percent, then and I gotta get this at fifty. Oh, uh, fifty-eight, but wow, uh, it's basically straight somehow. Even though it it broke, the lines were pretty fast. That's all right. We'll still win it. Um. We learned, uh, so one thing we didn't know was that we have to basically get someone to survey our land to make sure it's okay to put something there, which we know it is. Just something else for them to suck money out of you. That's really unnecessary for what we're trying to do. It's like, I, I get it's needed for certain things. Oh, that's short. Okay, no it's not. Like if you were doing a whole house. Or if you were taking away, taking some land and, you know, grading it or something. 
or taking trees away or you know certain things like that I get it's necessary to do wow can't believe I didn't go in but we already have I don't want this to go super far so I'm just gonna uh, I went a little shorter than I wanted it to um, we already have a porch there and we're just gonna be basically extending it oh my god are you kidding me that hard I should just never moved it I guess we're basically gonna be just extending it you know to the left five feet forward probably about five feet and to the right probably about ten feet and that's it we're not going to be leveling any ground we're not going to be adding any ground we don't need to take any trees out and it's not going to interfere with anything around the house like your AC unit or our panel box um, and the wind is not with us you know it's not gonna interfere with any of that wow why did it says straight and it just launches to the right I mean 60 yards I don't know what that was about but anyway we gotta do that so that's gonna take money um, then I don't know how to do this but we have to get um, we have to get blueprints for what we need all the, ma the material the color it's gonna be we have to get that all down I don't know how to get blueprints I'll have to ask my dad because he's been doing construction for t almost 30 years And then we have to get down the contractor who's going to do it. Wow, they're just not breaking at all. Well, if she makes it, I lose. Okay. <laughs> um, and I'm hoping that him and some guys that work with him can do it. Because, you know, I trust my dad. But once that is actually built, I have really cool plans for. I went way right. I saw the yellow. If you have yellow and everything, why is it green and going straight? The arrow going straight. I don't know. Maybe that's for something else. But um, I have big plans for the for like videos and stuff hmm. oh wow what in the what, what kind of chip was that that was the worst chip I've ever seen I knew it was gonna be short but I'm not gonna have it go 15 feet past it's a good thing she really sucks because We'd probably actually be losing or all square right now if she was decent. But I, I want to put in because it's really hard to actually shoot videos at my home course because it's it's usually pretty packed because um, you'll actually have members or people that just live there go out and play there could be like so let's say there's my group that goes out at you know 12 o'clock and then there's a group that goes out at 12 10 because you're supposed to be that 10 minute gap uh, or five minute gap however long it's supposed to be um, there'll be group people that go out in the middle of those and a lot of the guys in the clubhouse will just kind of be like, 
Oh, that's short. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, it's fine to go out or whatever. Um, and that's cool and everything. You're trying to let everybody play. But when you have a group... Oh, it's uphill. It's not going to break, is it? Nope. I should just have learned that by now. But she's so bad, it doesn't matter. The best Papadopoulos can do here is bogey. Bogey there. That's not going to get it. But, um... So you'll have groups so bunched up. To win the hole. It's all even. No, it's not. In fact, I'm four up. Through six holes. And it's just like... It's not that I don't have time to do that, do it while it's packed. It's more along the lines of I get nervous. I don't want people. Oh god! Either I didn't think that, or I didn't. Either I didn't notice that tree, or it just shot right again. And I have a feeling I just didn't notice the tree. But anyway. Um, yeah, I just get nervous if there's like if I'm not playing in front of people because I used to play tournaments all the time but um, I Still do try to play tournaments, but um, oh My god, I couldn't even get out of freaking this I blame the parents <laughs> Oh, fairity But I don't want to try to be like recording something and they're waiting on me and then, you know, if if you hit a bad shot, you're like, well, I, they're waiting on me and I'm recording it. And that went into the water. You know, so. I got lucky the last time and there, there were a bunch of holes that I could, uh, I could record stuff on. Ooh. Oh wow, but I underestimated uh, how long the battery would last. Jesus man, it just does these greens don't break. Cause I think I got, you know, it was already at I think 80%. Or something like that, the battery. Or 75, but after... This putt to have the hole. Disappointing ball. Wait. How was that to have the hole, but then the last one was for the match? We both missed. That made no sense at all. And what... It... What are these matches that you're on like the eighth hole and if you go five up you're winning? Wow, that was weird. I don't understand that. Maybe it's all 18, but if you get to five up you just win. Maybe that's it. It's kind of like how on Wii Sports, if you're playing the baseball one, if you got to... I think if you got to like eight, eight to nothing or something like that, it was some. If you were winning by a certain amount, you would just win. Like you weren't playing anymore. Oh man, that didn't roll out as much as I thought. This to win the match. No, because if because I'm four up. Okay, I don't know. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know how they're... I don't know how they're doing it. But see, if that's to win the match, then if she doesn't make it like this, I should win if I make mine. Even if she makes this. That's it. Now putting for the match. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was. That's okay. I forgot it was a par four. I thought it was a par three. Yeah, I hit my driver on the par three and couldn't make it. <laughs> oh, chair just popped. I need to get a new 
chair for this room. I I cheaped out when I first got um when I we first bought this house. And hey Nike. And I bought a just a cheapo like eighty dollar uh gaming chair and it's hurt it hurts my butt right now <laughs> because the the seat's so compressed by me just sitting in it for hours every day. Uh, let's get the stroke play over with. And there's like the lining of it, the the it's not really fabric. Whatever the the uh, I don't know what you call it, like the plastic lining or whatever on the sides. It's just peeling and it gets all over the floor and I have to vacuum it all the time. It's just this chair sucks. <laughs> I should have got a I should have not cheaped out on it. Just goes to show oh god. This is going too far. Okay. You know, research what you can cheap out on and what you can't. Because <laughs> it's like... The desk I got... Was a little bit cheaper. Because I think it was like an Amazon... Basics? No, I don't think it was that. But it was a cheaper desk. I think it was under two hundred dollars, and it's like an L-shaped desk. You know, it holds three monitors that are well, two monitors and a TV screen. Oh, uh, not TV screen, but a uh, yeah, TV screen that are all twenty-four or twenty-two inch. I can't remember which. Um, and plus, I have my. Oh, I, I, I didn't announce this, but I was able to actually get a PS5 uh, recently. Walmart, like, got them back in stock, and I was able to get one really quick. C67 power. I knew it was going to go in, so I didn't touch it. Oh yeah, it's stroke play. I, I was like, well, once everybody's done with their second shot, we should be good. But no, everyone sucks. God. Um, but it holds the PS5 on the right, and the PS5 is huge. Make no mistake, if you don't have one yet, and I'm sure most people don't. So I have my... Um... My monitors, which are, like I said, 22 or 24 inches. But again, they, they're on a stand. You know, at least 3 inches. So add 3 inches. And the PS5 is the exact height of the TV one. The other monitors are slightly taller. Um... And then, you know, I have two keyboards, uh, a Go XLR Mini for my sound and everything when I'm making sure, like, you know, I can mute stuff if I have to sneeze or lower the volume or something. But, uh, ah, it's gonna go right. Way right. Um, you know, I got two mice and then I still got some room for you know the speakers for the computer you know some room for drinks and stuff and then on the right side I have my smaller PC that's sitting on to a I don't know it's like a like a ledge on the bottom of the uh, the right side of the desk and on top of that, I have my headphones sitting on that, so... It's a decent size for the price it was. It was easy to install, but I should have done it in the room. I did it in my living room, because it's, you know, a big space. 
and it took me and my girlfriend like 20 minutes to get it in here flipping it all sorts of ways it was a disaster but it's a pretty it, and I still have more space I could do stuff with so if I needed to like put things oh god it's gonna go right again That's not bad. I almost forgot how I even got on the topic of my stupid desk. But, uh, I'm back on track now. This putt for I mean, we're s we're going through three fantasy characters that are horrible, so I better talk about something in my right because they are not interesting. Um, Drop a shot back. But I, oh yeah, I mentioned uh, Peter Finch earlier. I watched two. Um, two people on YouTube for golf, Peter Finch and Rick Shields. I like Peter Finch uh, more as like if you're going to like let me let me see what equipment you know I would I would want and I would go more f to Peter Finch for that because he's not quite I don't want to say as biased as Rick Shields is with equipment but he's more he'll experiment more on equipment with with his self like dang it's gonna go right again that could have been on the green too but like so rick shields you know he'll experiment with a a blade putter a mallet putter and that's about the extent to what he'll do with the putters He's never experimented with like the the arm lock, a long putter, um, or anything like that. Or he he won't go to I guess brands that you normally wouldn't. Like he'll stick with Odyssey, Even Roll, which is a bigger. I think that's a bigger European brand. I don't really see too much of it over here. Or just, um, just an overseas brand. Because I don't really see anybody using it in America. At least that I've noticed. Um,. But Peter Finch did a lot of research with like the arm lock, which is one thing that made me want to go and you know check it out for myself because I had been having a lot of trouble with my putting recently. And then he'll you know he experiments with uh, a lot of experimentation with drivers, you know, given everything a reasonable and thorough thorough. Um, Look at this dude. Come on man. It was it was an easy putt and it wasn't even long. This dude acting like Rodney Dangerfield from Caddyshack. Oh, what the hell is going on? But um like he experimented with um and is actually using the the thicker grips. I can't remember what they're called. Are they called Jumbo Max? I don't know. But the thicker grips for his clubs and everything and experimented a lot more with the one length irons um, and stuff like that whereas Rick Shields kind of sticks to your more standard clubs and stuff he'll do the gimmicky stuff once in a while like he just did like um, you know straightest the a uh, ball that you know, says it's, it'll go straight, you know, no matter what. 
He'll do that kind of stuff sometimes, but if you want more, uh, more of your niche, I guess, reviews on stuff, I would go for Peter Finch on that on that kind of thing. But they're both they're both interesting and both really good at you know if you need tips or anything like that. You know, watch their videos and everything. And then another thing Finch was doing was, uh, I think it was at the beginning of 2021, he started trying to work on his, uh, his speed and his strength and everything like that. And kind of showed how he was trying to get that going and it was a lot easier because he had built his own, you know, home kind of range, if you will. Hmm, that was bad. Here, if it goes in. Oh, I was gonna say based on the last, the last match I did, they didn't break very much, but that broke a good bit. So. All right, buddy. All right, danger for you. Get the hell out of here. I don't feel like Jesus. I hate that man so much. Dropped it. Okay. Put my hand up. This for par. Next par. The bat putting for bogey. Bogey there. That's not going to get it done. Oh yeah, and like uh, golf balls too. So I kept. I was constantly getting ads for um, the Vice golf balls that I'm using and so I was like man keep getting these ads for these damn things let me look them up and it happened that Peter Finch had done a pretty good test for them he tried them out with the tailor-made Whatever the better TaylorMade brand is, I cannot remember what it is. It's one with the triangles on it or something. <laughs> I can't remember. The Tireless Pro V1X. Or Pro V1, whichever one. He did the Vice Pro Plus. And then he also did it with the uh, Callaway Max or something. I can't remember. And basically the Vice he said you know for him felt a lot better than most of them you know it performed better in most of the categories and the ones that it didn't really perform better it perfor performed about the same and then another one was like durability and everything and the durability of the vice was slightly worse because they test them out of sand because that's what they the uh, the balls will kind of break up a little more Par 5, and I'm hitting a freaking 9 iron into it. Um, but that's where the balls are kind of... The plastic on them breaks up and everything. And it, the only thing it performed worse than was slightly worse than the Titleist. Wow, that was... Wow. Um, so, and if you buy like, if you buy five boxes at a time, it makes it be like 20, what is this, like $23 a box, 
of the Vice Pro Plus, which is their most expensive ones. They're, that's basically the Pro V1X um, of the Vice. So it's technically a lot cheaper to, if you buy them that way than if you buy any other brand. Because Titleist... What are they like? Aren't they close to like 40 bucks a box? Which is insane for golf balls. That's like almost three dollars. No. Yeah, that's three dollars for one golf ball. If you include tax. It's three dollars for a golf ball. Which is why whenever I would buy golf balls before I went with the Vice, I would buy like a t I would I would get Taylor Made or Callaway, but I wouldn't get like their number one brand. I would get like maybe like twenty two dollars for a box or something. Whenever the Taylor Made ones for those were. Like I've actually never bought a box of Tireless because they're so expensive. I've bought TaylorMade. I've bought Callaway. I've actually won more Callaway golf balls than I've ever bought the most direct at like the end of tournaments, and they have the little raffles for stuff. I've won a I've won like a 36 box of Callaway Hex or something. I can't remember. That was a long time ago. <laughs> Oh, that. Okay. Went way too far. But then, so the one of the few tournaments I played last year, we got third place, or we I think we tied for second, and because like the uh, the other people's like the harder nine was better, I think they got the official second place but either way we both won like a box of top flight golf balls or ultra or whatever it was and I was like really you're gonna give us the cheapest golf balls you can all right but then you go to we did an I did another tournament. It was at a much better course. Um, and they'll give you, you know, you'll get a little like goodie bag before you start. And it was like, you know, like crackers, a cookie. You get like, <laughs> it sounds stupid, but. Uh, Oop. Can't remember really what that was. Back to back Eagles, probably. Ooh, nice putt. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Okay. But uh, you get a bunch of goodies and stuff, and sometimes they'll give you a box, a sleeve of golf balls, and usually when they give you the sleeve, it's like. Callaway or something like it's usually Callaway. I've never gotten anything besides Callaway or just one of the crap golf balls like top flight or something um, But that's the kind of tournament I would I would get the Callaway The Callaway golf balls at The most direct line. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh god, what just happened? Froze for a second or something. Uh, let's see, what's the wind like? Oh, not bad. We'll just go right here. 110 power. Maximum power. Could it be three in a row? But I've kind of stuck with. I think the brands that I'm going to stick with 
for as long as I can see anyway because Vice I love I love the feel again if you buy five boxes it's like twenty three dollars a box and for basically the equivalent it's the same as it's just as good as the Pro V ones on tireless it's just, it's just as good um, for a lot cheaper and five boxes you know that's gonna last you a long time it's gonna last me a long time I've give I gave my dad a box I still have three full boxes because I think when I bought one of, when I bought my five I got a free box it's downhill not that downhill though so I have to hit it like 75 hmm. uh, oh wow okay really went left and didn't come back but um and then like club wise I absolutely love my sick arm lock putter it was a more expensive putter than all the rest but to me it was really worth it my putting used to be pretty good oh it used to be really good like three years ago and you know from then before it was it was really really good but I don't know what happened I did take a break because of work for close to if not a year and I, when I came back it just was like it wasn't there anymore but I've kind of gotten that back and I think with the help of that putter um, again an insane amount of research I did for, for that putter and also looked up reviews and like I said Finch's review really helped me like decide okay I think this could be the putter for me um, and then like with clubs and stuff drivers and woods Cobra is definitely my go-to like oh, that's right like I don't think there's another brand I would go to besides Cobra for drivers and woods anymore I used to like in 2000 from 2008 until 20 19 I used TaylorMade but I had one driver and it wasn't that twist play face I don't like the twi twist face and also Cobra is actually a little bit cheaper than all the other brands for drivers and pretty much everything else I do believe oh really that was too hard wow okay at 75% that was too hard but uh they're a little bit cheaper and if you go on, uh, if you buy f directly from their site, you can customize everything. If you, because there's this, just the standard. If you're good with that, but if you want something different, like you know, if you want the thicker grips, if you want a different type of shaft or a different length of shaft um, you can do all that from their site and everything she it in for car. but everybody who reviews their drivers and everything they they're I mean you can put them up against TaylorMade, Ping, 
Titleist, Callaway, all those type of drivers, and they do just as well, if not better, in most of the areas. Uh, same with their woods. Actually, their woods, most people are, you know, saying their woods are some of their, are better than just about everybody else's. And in fact, there's a couple of big people who are use, still using Cobra's woods from, ooh, like their F8, F7 series. Which is like 2017, 2018, something like that. Um, but yeah, they got they have really good drivers in woods, and I, I don't again I did a lot of research, and I went ahead and got a set of one length speed zone irons. And you know, they were on sale at the time. I said, you know what, I want to try them out. Look at this dude. Oh, he had to go backwards. I don't know if I ever went backwards 79 yards, buddy. Maybe like 30. And I haven't been able to use them too much. I think I've actually only played like four times with them. But... Put this... Out of all the times... Oh, Eagle Extravaganza Trophy Ball, I think. Out of all the times I've used them, I have... Let me try and think of the list of things, because they have actually helped me a lot in ooh, distance. So I'm hitting... Ooh. I think I'm hitting my irons. I'm hitting my gap wedge. I think around 130. I'm hitting my pitching or 135. I'm hitting my pitching wedge around 145. Nine iron 155. Eight 165. Seven 175. And I've been able to get my 7-iron to like 180-something. That's how good I'm hitting my irons. And I've never been able to hit an actual 5-iron. But this 5-iron I've been hitting really, really well. Because it's the length it's the length of a 7-iron. Like I said, I've hit my long irons. Like, I've always struggled with hitting a 6 and a 5 and a 4. I've always had high, 5 and 4 hybrids. Uh... I want to do, I need to do one more because this is going to be 18 holes. This is stroke play. Um, so let's go ahead and do closest to the pin. Um, but yeah, I've been able to kind of do a lot more with the one length. Um, on side hill lies, so when a ball's above your feet, they're, they're a tiny bit harder to hit because they're long. You know, if you're hitting a 8, 9 gap or pitching wedge, you know, they're a little bit longer. So they're going to be a little harder to hit. But your 6 and 5 iron are going to be easier because they're a little shorter. Wow, he won that one immediately. And then on the downhill lies, you know, it's pretty much the same thing, but the opposite. Um, your shorter irons are going to be easier to hit. Your longer irons are going to be a little bit harder to hit because they're shorter. It's easier to find the middle of the club face and to hit the same shot again and again and again because they're the same in length. So you just set up the exact same way. Buick House Ambassador. Don't know what that is. Um, and my wedges. I've been. I only used tailor-made wedges for the last probably ten years. 
sand wedge, loft wedge, tailor made wedges. Um, and they, I love them. I absolutely love them. So, anyway, that's going to end it for this video. When we come back, we're going to try to get these four done now. Okay, this is match play. So, that this is the only. Sh whoops. Go back. Go back. God damn it. No. Okay. This is the only skins. Well, I mean, the only stroke play. I guess the par 3 technically would be as well. Um, so, we're going to end it here. When we come back, we're going to go ahead and go through the rest of Mike Weir's little hexagon thing. So, hope you guys are enjoying it. Have a great day, and I'll see you. Bye.